Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom Mason here, back with another video, and today we're talking about what's inside my photography EDC. My everyday carry, um, the things inside a little kit that I have with me, as well as around my person that help me when I'm out in the field to make images. So, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> So it's certainly been a weird couple of months here in the UK, but now that things are kind of starting to get going in, I managed to get a haircut so I don't look like an 80s pop star, I thought it was a good chance to cover my EDC, my everyday carry, the bits and bobs that have saved me on location multiple times and things that I think that pretty much every wildlife photographer is worth having in the bag when you're out in the field. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, I'm not like some of these people who carry this like huge grab bag of equipment, don't tend to need a big sack of gear when I'm out in the field, but these are just the small essentials that no matter where I am, they tend to be in my pocket. Um, and so to get started, let's talk about what's on the outside. So to start with then, of course, are my binoculars. Um, I don't go anywhere without my bins. Uh, they're just always around my neck in a pocket, whether I'm you know, out making images or going to the local pub, if I ever get to go to a pub again. But, you know, these are so useful um, for scouting locations, finding wildlife, um, but also just enjoying nature. You know, they're essential for that. I think that every wildlife photographer should have a pair of these. If you don't, go buy a pair because they're so useful. Um, my Nikon Monarch HGs, um, these are the 8x30s, they're excellent. They're really compact, lightweight, fit them in the corner of a bag, and they've been traveling with me for the last few years. And since, you know, I'm pretty rough on my kit, they really are doing very, very well. And I love these to bits. So they're always the first thing that's around my neck, in my pocket, when I go out pretty much every single day. Now, secondly, of course, as a photographer, is a camera. Um, yes, I do carry a camera pretty much every day. It does change day to day. You know, if I'm out making images of wildlife, I have the D850, the 300 2.8, the Z6. Um, I'll pick depending what I'm going out to shoot. If I'm just enjoying a family event, then I'll have the Z6 and my 35mm Prime. You know, I pick a camera depending what I'm doing. Um, and that's why it's in the EDC, but it's not really an exact item that is in the kit. But yes, I do carry a camera pretty much every day. So the final thing that's on the outside is my Paramo smock. Um, pretty recent addition to the kit. I've only had it um, for a couple of months now, but I really do like this. Um, it's windproof, showerproof, lightweight, compact. It's just a really nice layer to throw on every single day. Um, it wasn't particularly expensive, that's nice, so I don't mind rolling around on the floor in it and getting all muddy and dirty or worry about putting holes through it like I do with some of my like Gore-Tex shells that you really don't want to break. And so it just is kind of a perfect all-round wildlife photography layer. Um, and of course, the drab green color is ideal for blending in um, to the kind of uh, UK habitat that really is quite good. Right then, so we've covered some of the bigger stuff, uh, my binoculars, smock, camera. Let's talk about some of the smaller stuff that's in my pockets. To start with, of course, my mobile phone. Yes, it's great for emails, social media, ringing people, keeping yourself safe, letting people know where you are. But for me, the one key thing that I really like to use on it is that of mapping. Um, recently downloaded the OS Maps app. Um, it's brilliant. It allows you to have um, 50,000 and 25,000 scale mapping of everywhere in the UK for only 24 pounds a year. Excellent. You can find locations, you can follow trails. Um, you know, if you go somewhere new, you can find where the paths are. Um, you can get around, you can look at an area and say, oh good, I'd like to get around the back of that. Oh yes, there's a path there. Brilliant. If you find a subject out in the field and you say, I wanna pinpoint that, come back to it later, turn the GPS on on your phone, it'll pinpoint you exactly on the map. You can dial in, get a really good look, screenshot that and use it um, to kind of pinpoint locations and find subjects. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I also kind of pair this with my Evernote because if I take a screenshot, I can put it in my Evernote, that will sync with my computer and I can kind of make a digital notebook of where things are out in the field. Very, very handy indeed. Um, and I found that even with a GPS on, I can get a full day out of this that really is very nice. Um, use it all the time. And of course, having a map helps you keep safe, especially if you're in some of the more distant locations. It's good to be able to know where you are and how to get back um, if you need to. Now, next up is something I talked about before um, that I pretty much always carry. It's my Leatherman. Um, this is my Leatherman Wave. 
so good for fixing stuff out in the field. I've got my pliers, um, knife, screwdrivers, everything like that, um, especially as someone who does camera trapping, it is really, really good indeed. Um, now, I do not carry this if I'm in public places in the UK. Because it's a locking blade, you're not allowed to carry it in the UK without a good reason. Of course, if I'm on a shoot out in the field or doing some actual commercial work in a location where I am around people, I am allowed to carry it, but you have to have a good reason and it's definitely worth remembering that. But of course, for its usefulness out in the field, um, I rarely go anywhere um, when I'm out shooting without it. Um, and it saved me so many times fixing cameras, plates, you know, just everything. Excellent bit of kit, definitely worth picking one up. Now the next thing that's in my pocket is not just one thing, but it's my kind of EDC pouch. Now I don't have one of those really big pouches of loaded stuff. I've tried to get it around to this really small, concise, um, pocketable pouch that has all the essentials I need to overcome multiple problems when I'm out on a shoot. So what I'm gonna do is just unpack it and show you what's inside. Um, the little Patagonia pouch was about seven quid or something. Really nice, you know, they're a really good company, environmentally friendly, everything like that. So really nice indeed. And it's the only one that I found that was small enough to fit in my pocket, yet fit everything I needed. So I'm just gonna pull things out as we go. Battery. You always need a spare battery for your camera. This is a D850Z6 battery, so it does both. Fully charged battery, always great to have in the pocket. Um, you know, I've always got spares in the camera bag, but having it close at hand, sometimes you forget, sometimes you don't have one. So having a spare, definitely worth having in the kit. To go along with that, of course, spare memory cards. I've got an XQD as well as an SD in there. Um, just tends to carry like a 32 gig card. It's gonna get you over any problems in a pinch. There's been times where you just go out, you forget to put a memory card in, having a spare with you all the time, absolutely essential um, and just super useful. Um, so that's always in the kit bag as well. The next thing that, you know, is a necessary is that of a shower cap. You know, you just don't wanna get wet hair when you're out in the field if you're taking pictures it's a right nightmare um you know so keen to keep it dry no of course i'm, I'm joking that the shower cap is just brilliant as a very lightweight camera cover um it just goes over the top of the camera like this protects it from the worst of the weather you can still use all the buttons through it that is absolutely brilliant and of course you're basically never gonna have to pay for one of these because you can get them from a hotel. Just pick them up. I always grab them uh, when I'm traveling because they're so useful to have with you. Um, yeah, brilliant. Just grab one of those, put it in the bag. You'll find you use it all the time, be it on your actual camera, a remote camera, just flash gun. So good for weatherproofing stuff. Get one, keep it with you. So next up, I've got some lens wipes. Um, I always keep a couple of these in the bag. You know, just keep everything nice and clean, you know, to get the best out of your optics. Super useful as well for my glasses because they tend to get dirty in the field. Um, so a couple of those Zeiss lens wipes. Um, all of this stuff I'll put a link to in the description so you can find it really easy. But uh, yeah, they're really good to have with you. Alongside that, I carry a selection of plasters. Um, you know, if you're out in the field, you probably will cut yourself at some point. You'll get a blister on a long walk. Um, it's a nightmare if you've got nothing to cover it for a whole day, makes it uncomfortable not fun to do um, so just having a few plasters with you just helps you overcome that um, really good indeed you can in a pinch also use them to stick stuff down as well always have a couple of them with me at all times my next kind of like tool segment is uh, the Victinox SD mini this is a brilliant little knife um, tiny little knife on it um, that's tiny perfectly UK legal not a problem great for opening things cutting things open use it every single day. Um, you've also got a little screwdriver on the end of the file that's nice as well. But one of the tools that I love on this is the toothpick. You're like, Tom, toothpicks aren't that useful. They are as a photographer, because if you get stuff stuck in the camera, you know, you get some like grit stuck in the focus ring or in the buttons or around, the, you can use this to pick it out. So handy for getting sand out of different places absolutely great and um, use it all the time i've helped a friend get out of a sticky situation with that when his camera just it just wouldn't work because he couldn't get the sand out of the button you know using this getting it out job done worth carrying every day of course also get the grit out of your iphone so it connects very very useful indeed and they're only about nine quid so worth having so additionally in terms of the kind of fixing things route cable ties um, i carry about three or four of these in the kit and they're just so useful zip ties for you Americans out there. You know, if you've got to hold something steady, you want to fix something to a branch, whatever you're doing, 
cable ties will do the job. You know, really nice, easy to have with you. They're always in the kit bag. I also carry a couple of uh, Allen keys with me, um, hex wrenches for Americans, I think. Um, these are just so useful. Um, these are the right size for my camera plates and my tripods. I only carry the ones I need and use all the time. So a pair of those, they're just easy to access, very useful, um, yeah, always there. So you're not kind of rooting around looking for the right ones. You just know they're in the kit. Final things in here, um, I've got some Lee Filters black foil. Make a little piece of this. This is great for shaping light. You put it around the front of a flash gun and it directs the light in a certain way. You can use it as a makeshift hood if you've got a, a camera and you've lost the hood or whatever. Um, there's multiple things you can do with this. I also find it handy if I wanna make a little um, directional shield um, for a PIR sensor that I'm working with camera trapping. Really nice, very small, lightweight, no reason not to have it with you. Um, you can also use it to like repair other stuff with because it's metal, that's very nice indeed. A little pencil with some uh, electrician's tape around it. You know, when I'm out fixing cameras, cables, whatever, having some electrician's tape is super useful. I just roll a load off, um, round a little pencil, so I've always got some with me. And of course, you've got a little pencil to write in your notebook that's also in my pocket. Final thing that's in here for me specifically, hay fever tablets. Um, I carry a couple of hay fever tablets because oh, my allergies can be so bad sometimes. And if you're out there and your nose is dripping, you feel rough, having a couple of these can just save the day. Um, so they're always in the kit, ready to go. Um, of course, most days I'll take it before I leave home. But on those times that you forget, there's nothing worse than going to whole days, sneezing and sneezing. So having a couple of those are always in the kit bag. So that's it for my kind of EDC inside my kit. There's still a few other things that I do like to carry. There's a Kestrel over there, but he's uh, heading the wrong way. That is always the way. With my binoculars, smock, phone, EDC pouch kind of covered, there's only a few last things that I tend to carry with me when I'm out in the field every single day. And they really are little support accessories that um, are a little bit larger, but I find really useful and worth carrying. The first one is that of my mini Jitsu. This is really one of my favorite photographic items that I own. Um, this is the Jitsu Mini Traveler. It's a carbon fiber mini tripod that is super lightweight. It's like so small and lightweight. It has these wonderful little carbon fiber legs that are the smallest anyone's ever made. Um, if you pull out the leg and push it up, it goes even lower to the ground. That's excellent. And I have so many uses for this little thing. You know, if I'm making a video like this, I can use um, the camera on top. Um, I could also use it for positioning a remote camera. And I do that all the time, set up a little pocket wizard off in distance and trigger the camera. This will hold it nice and stable. And it supports an amazing amount of weight for its size. It will actually support easily up to my 70 to 200 um, with my D850. And I've tried that and it works great. And I'm actually pretty sure it would even support the 500 PF. If you take the ball head off, you can get even greater weight capacity from it. And apparently it will go up to 15 kilos. That is just mental for something this big um you know it's matte black that's really nice so it doesn't reflect too much light great for putting in position and it's just so small and handy that it comes with me every day you know it goes in the bag top of my camera bag or you know even in a pocket like i had it today super useful yeah absolutely brilliant another item that's on very similar to the tripod is that of this little clamp um by manfrotto it's just a very small simple clamp um you know you can just put on a stick twist it around and then you've got a quarter thread um, great for attaching a flash gun um, you know putting something up somewhere for a time lapse anything like that really small um, it'll carry about two and a half kilos that's enough for your kind of average mirrorless or DSLR um, but really I use it a lot more for um, smaller things like flash guns to get them out of the way super useful you can attach it to like a tripod leg anything like that very handy to have, um, certainly something that I definitely get a lot of use out of, so that's in the bag as well. I always carry a head torch. Um, this is the Petzl um, Light, e Light. Um, it's just a really tiny, compact head torch that is brilliant. Um, you know, it's absolutely tiny. You can just pop it on there. You've got white LED, but you've also got um, a red LED as well. Um, great for those night works um, where you want to keep your night vision, but you want to have a look at the controls on the camera. 
very useful. It's extremely small and lightweight. As you see, just put it in a pocket, definitely worth picking up. The final couple of things are really more because I've produced the videos and stuff like that, that I like to carry them. Um, and they are an audio recorder and a decent pair of headphones. My audio recorder um, that I pretty much always have with me is this. Uh, this is the Zoom H1. Very small, compact, got a great little microphone on the top for getting some ambient sounds. Um, I can plug it into my lavalier microphone, and um, that means if I have any problem with my wireless setup, I can just do that and sync the audio later. That's really nice, um, but I also find it handy just for taking voice memos as well. Just very useful bit of kit. Um, had this a little while now and it works great. So that's there. Now, of course, if you're recording audio, you've got to have a way of monitoring it. And that's why I always carry these. Um, these are the Shure SE215 um, in-ear monitoring headphones. They usually use these in, in performances. People have them running up the back um, so they can listen to themselves on stage. But I find it absolutely brilliant. The audio quality out of these is amazing. Um, just so good. Um, they're very well balanced to listening to audio when you're recording. Um, I also find that as someone who wears glasses, having over their head um, earphones all the time can push on my ears and make it quite uncomfortable. Whereas these are just really um, great to work with in the field. Um, they also have really nice foam ear tips that fully fill your ear canal. And that means that they kind of block out a lot of the ambient noise that's great. Um, I've used these on planes as well on long journeys. They work great for that too. And that's why they're always with me. They're small and lightweight, means I don't have to have a full set of headphones to still get great quality um, and make sure that my recordings are how I want them. So they are always in the kit. And with that, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't carry too much gear on me every single day, but the essential bits that are in my pockets and around my person help me to get the job done. The little EDC pouch means that I can always overcome issues, um, you know, fix things on the fly, repair stuff. I've always got a bit of tape to put over stuff, a plaster if I hurt myself. Those are little things that just get you by every day. And then the bigger stuff like the mini tripod, I just find so many uses for that. I just, it is an essential to carry. I hope you found that kind of useful, having a little look at some of the things that I carry in my pockets day to day when I'm out doing wildlife photography. But you know, I probably have missed some things. There'll be some stuff that you guys carry every day like Tom, you need one of these. So drop it in the comments below. Um, let me know your thoughts and what you think might be useful to carry. Um, be great reading through your suggestions. And of course, guys, until the next one, get out there, enjoy your wildlife photography and go make some cracking images. But until the next one, guys, uh, I'll see you soon.